Hello everyone and welcome in our today's session. Uh, I'm your host Eriko Banks and this is Code Star Technologies. And in our today's session, I know this is one of the sessions that uh, most of you have been waiting. I'm going to show you how you can integrate your system with the Lipa 9 Pesa API. Remember, uh, uh, this is one of the mobile payment uh, method that is widely used here in Kenya. But before we start our today's session, I want you to subscribe so that you can get notified every time I, I, I upload a video like this one. So remember, I normally, you, uh, I normally do a lot of videos uh, in the field of IT and based on latest technologies. So make sure you subscribe and also share the link to other guys who might need to get the same, same information. Now, let's get back to our today's session. And as I told you, we are going to integrate a system with the Lipa 9 Pesa. And in this case, I'm going to share the whole folder with you. Uh, with only this SDK push and uh, this one, but even the SDK push is not that important. I can only share the point of sale and um, this other folder for uh, this is just an application. It's not necessary to upload. It's going to uh, take time for nothing. So I'm going to share you the folder and only the POS. And in our today's session, I want to do it using Python. Uh, this point of sale. This is one of the systems that I developed uh, when I was learning Python. So it is the one that I'm going to integrate it with the uh, Lipa 9 Pesa. The reason why I'm not going to do it with PHP is because PHP will uh, it's going to need um, uh, a domain name. And in future, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do uh, how you can integrate your system, the Lipa 9 Pesa, using uh, PHP. So don't worry with that. Just stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe and you'll get all that information. Where do you start? You need to have the basic knowledge of, of programming. You can create a simple system like uh, create, uh, read, update and delete. A system that can interact with database. Then the next thing, you need to have a pay bill number. If you want to deploy it live, that is. And um, it will take you like uh, three weeks or two weeks minimum some because of uh, there, is, there is a lot of emailing to safaricom and so forth and you know how to contact things like customer care and so forth it, it takes time because you need to authenticate your system and so forth so there is a series of uh, a lot of emailing and so forth so in this session we are going to do it uh, using the testing features uh, provided by uh, safaricom so what you just need is to log in to uh, this one let me just um, log out you just need to type daraja there daraja you you search for daraja and you sign up an account with the daraja then log into the system let me log in faster faster and once you log in uh, to take you through as you can see i have an application but to take you through simply on how it works you can go to get started get to learn how it works it is well documented like any you can go direct to this one and you can see you have got um, um three types of api here customer to business business to customer even we normally have the um business to business so as you scroll here the one this one you'll see some of the parameters that are provided that you can use at a uh, till number not, not till number but we normally use pay bill number uh, mobile number and all that so these are some of the parameters that you can use uh, to exercise or to test how it works i have copied them on my code because i have their code so where do you copy the code on the docs uh, get it from here you can see there is php there is a uh, Python, there is a Node.js and so forth. So you just click which language you want and you scroll, you pick uh, which type of API that you want. Like if it's Safaricom, I already copied it. So what I just need is to create an application. Already I've done that. I've created an application. So you will create your own. So in this video, what you're just going to do, just go to my app, add app, give it a name. And once you give it, you create it, you're going to see this one. So just a simple thing. You click here. Once you click it, it will display down here uh, the consumer key and the uh, uh, secret key. The reason why I'm not showing it is because I want it to be private, not uh, public. Just you can do it on your own. So once you have those one, you copy them on this uh, code that I copied. As you can see, you enter the 
consumer key and the secret key but the rest already i've done for you i hope it is going to work like uh, business short code which is the till numbers and so forth the, all the other details are provided you can pick them from where i showed you here this one you can pick them from here in case there is a, in case you copy the code direct from the system but the one that i'm going to share you with you it's only you are going to create the hub get the secret key and the um, secret um, uh, the consumer key and consumer secret and then paste them so because it's going to be on this code the next thing is to run once you paste them and as you can see there's a system i'm going to log in with admin account the same which you on, on your side you are going to log in with admin account and once you do that the system automatically is going to create a database and as you can see it has got nothing so let me add a new cashier on this point of sale let me say cashier is eric banks and eric banks you have a password which is eric and um, you'll do it on your own way this will be cashier once you have that i'm going to create um you can add a new system update delete and all that you can update a stock and so forth so uh, let me say i have hard disk hard disk i have uh, like five and they are sold 2000 something like that hard you can say I have another one like ram let me use uh, capitals ram mm. and you can say like ram 1 gb or let me say 2 gb like that and you can have an iphone it's very very important it's your code is kusumbu because otherwise when i modify the code the way you want so this five is going to be let me say 15 or 14 there's no problem i've added my stock and i'm going to sign out and log in as a cashier so again this i developed sometimes back i don't know when when i was learning python so erico sorry banks and this is going to be eric and this is going to be cashier login i want to sell you'll see the authentication there let me just sell direct three you can empty in case you want to empty that was around 10 let's say one and this is it so what will happen is that if i press the the the, the mpesa it is going to ask me to enter the mobile number of the customer so if i enter my mobile number i've not shared my the screen of mobile because i have not done the mirror so it is 7-11-233 and if i click receive supposed to uh, to open on my phone can hear then it's asking me do you want to pay uh, this amount to safaricom test 12 account blah 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 like that if i enter my pin and click ok it's going to make the payment so i don't want you to do that let me cancel i think now you have understood how it works and uh, even though i have not done mirroring of the phone let me just pay uh, this one like uh, let me say i have how much does it cost? Seven thousand. Let me say I've paid eight thousand. You can see I have a balance of six thousand, uh, six hundred, and here I have the receipt. And that's how it works. So I hope now uh, you can modify the system the way you want. Uh, you know the requirements, and you can modify the system how you want. So I'm going to share this content from the description feel free to download and don't forget to subscribe guys it's very very important uh, so that we can move this channel to the next level where it deserves and um, i know you will appreciate a lot thank you uh, i have so many videos that are coming which are very very nice for you i hope you are going to enjoy them thanks and have a nice time and see you on the next video which is going to be creating a stamp a soft copy stamp it's going to be graphic graphics thing 
can show you how you can 